Hi there, my name is Keith Thomas, and this is my third and final vlog in my vlog reflective series. And uh, here we are, it's the end of the term, uh, and the end of the class, so much that we've learned, so much that we've gained, so much that uh, um, we've grown, and um, you know, just looking at myself as a learner, and the concept of reflective practice and realizing that reflection is part or, or completes the learning process. Um, taking information, retaining it, and reflecting upon it just really exemplifies the process, the process of not just retaining information, but thinking consciously about it and why and if it makes sense, how it's working, how it's not working, what can we do? And just, you know, just so many things, even uh, I went back to, to uh, practicum just to help out with um, our Father's Day activity. And uh, teacher's like, you know, do this with them, you know, go take this, do this, do this, do this, this, you know, a set way of doing things. And I was doing it, but I was, I was finding it so hard that the kids were just, you know, it's hot, they're just antsy, they're, they're full of energy, and, and it just wasn't working effectively. You know, and I, I looked at it, I'm like, okay, I'm going to make this better. What forms do I do this? What forms do I do if I what forms do I talk to them? And you know they, they were cooperating so much better and and um, participating in the activity. And I really saw results. And that's again that's just part of, of you know reflective practice. Just not just taking it you know in just all my lesson plans, but just everywhere you kind of go. That's the power of reflection. I really appreciate that. And that's what we learned in class is that reflection can be used you know in different ways in our teaching practices. You know. With our, within ourselves, within our students, within our personal lives. I know I've been trying to use uh, elements of teach, reflect, learn in, in my own personal life and my troubles, and, but you know it can be used in the broader context, uh, even like in, in the, within the school staff. And uh, I remember that still shown in um, the Lewis reading on uh, how do Japanese teachers improve their instructional practice. Um, and here, teachers use reflection, is used in the broader context by working with their colleagues and not improving my class, or you, you know, my students, your students, but our students, you know, that's the power of, of lesson study. And that's what it is, this concept of lesson study, of learning by working with colleagues, observing each other's classrooms, our lessons, discussing upon it, talking about how we can improve our instructional practice, and when I say instructional practice, I mean like, um, you know, our knowledge of how to teach, um, what works, what doesn't work, like uh, just teacher knowledge, like subject matter, just better quality learning. And in Japan, they have a wonderful system where it's just they work on different levels. You have the university-based schools, you have the regular government schools, you have the centralized government schools. It's just in the public schools. It's just they all work in unison, and they all use this concept of reflective practice at each level, and you know, with it, higher quality of teaching and not you know subject knowledge, especially from the university-based schools. Um, you just learn so much more in, in the content. And you're keeping up to date with knowledge, and that's why I really like because you work with colleagues, and because you you know I feel at practicum I'm a, I'm alone. I'm a I'm an island, you know. And that's how I feel like we've had to approach the curriculum, just learn the content on our own. But with lesson study, you know, you can work with different teachers and uh, and learn together and and grow. Because, and it's what I said in the reading is that a um, a brand new teacher or a more like younger, uh, t uh, earlier started teacher has every is every more uh, much to give than a, a veteran teacher. You know, every, for example, like I'm from the, I'm from the faculty. I'm fresh out. I've learned new concepts and ideas, new applications, new ways to use technology. I feel like the you know the veteran teachers they, they would really appreciate that you know if I can give some new input on new ideas and likewise they can help me and see with their experience their wonderful experience and how I can approach things differently and what can I do better and how can I teach this how can we do that so lesson study is really it's a beautiful technique and I really hope that when I get hired you know that's something I can slowly start to implement and, and then grow the school community as well and in turn the result is student knowledge is also improved and that's why we're all here so why not um, in terms of my own reflective practice of where I've, I've reached uh, to date is that you know I feel I've come a long way uh, in learning about reflection and the power of utilizing it and the different ways of using um, in lessons in which 
uh, and it can be used at different levels as well. And another thing that exemplifies like how far I've come is, is in chapter nine when it, um, in Teach, Reflect, Learn, when it asks us to go back and take the reflective assessment tool again, you know, it helps you see, um, you know, the difference you've made over the past few weeks. And uh, I've heard taking the test again, you know, with my new mindset, um, you know, I got a higher score than before, um, but I still found myself just on the edge of the action stage, you know, approaching the, the, um, the you know, the ideal uh, refinement stage. And um, which again, I feel is fair because I feel like, you know, unless I actually implement, I have a mindset, but unless I implement it in the classroom, day in, day out, you know, for, you know, for, let's see, I don't know, consistently for maybe two, three, four weeks, you know, then I can honestly feel like, you know what, no, I deserve better. You know, I don't deserve better, but I feel like I've, I've come up further than I am, you know, and I feel like if this class was, was ongoing throughout practicum, then I can, I can honestly say if I've actually reached that stage where I've actually taken on the mindset and I've put into practice, because I feel like with the stress and everything, you kind of have to implement it. Uh, along with our teaching practice and to try to manage it and, and see how we are. Um, so in that case, like I feel if you were in that refinement stage, you would know that, um, that you've reached that level and that you're, you're doing well and you're taking those small steps and, and slowly refining your practice and constantly making changes. And then, you know, over time, you just make a huge change. You know, you see in your students, you see in yourself, you see in your, te in your teaching practice. So I feel it's fair and you know, I read, I'm still in the action stage, but you know, I'm trending upwards and uh, you know, I, I like to use the word, it's a journey and uh, I'm on my way and I'm more, and like in terms of the growth I've, 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 t overcome, I've taken over these, these past few weeks is that I feel I've you know, been more conscious and more self-aware uh, you know, in my approach and teaching and in life in general as well. And, um, you know, so like I said, just the, the word for me is just, it's very much a journey. You know, I will keep on you know, rereading Teach, Reflect, Learn, and uh, it's a wonderful book. Keep on, uh, you know, uh, reading that and rereading it if possible. And, you know, keep, keep reflecting, you know, in my own ways that, you know, especially these new tools and new methods, whether it's personal vlogs, journals, you know, talking with colleagues, uh, engaging in my PLN. You know, and hopefully, you know, when I get hired, you know, I, I'd really, I'd really like the, this concept of lesson study and hopefully, you know, um, I can grow and I saw not, not only myself as an effective teacher, but those around me, which I feel is, is, is my, up my alley in terms of um, being a, a, a better teacher is improving those around me, not only my students, my, you know, the staff and the school uh, community as well. So, um, so what a journey it's been and, uh, you know, and, uh, Thank you, Kristen, for everything, um, especially um, you know, helping me on my personal journey as well. And uh, I've learned a lot, and I've really seen the value in this. And I really advocate it, and uh, especially yeah, I really feel like I've learned um, uh, like uh, meet something more meaningful that I can take on in life. And uh, take care. Have a nice summer. God bless, and uh, cheers.